Oh, and welcome. This video is brought to you by TheStreamingAdvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. And what we're going to take a look at today is the Mach 10 from Arnubox. This is one of the fastest Linux-based streaming boxes on the market by far. The last I checked, it might even be the only one. So this is a really exciting thing to be taking a look at. We showed you a little sneak preview of a pre-done unit, but this is the first original that we've had a chance to take a look at. This is the retail ready version. You see it has what you would expect to find. Lots of good ports. Let's take a look. So you see it's got the HDMI, the two USB 2 ports, your Ethernet, optical audio, and AV for those who still have that need. The box itself is very sturdy, nice metal covering. It has a pretty chrome sort of surrounding. You see how bright it is? It's glistening. It's got a looks like a unboxing by TJ Abrams. Ooh, <laughs> lens flares. <laughs> it has an antenna for Wi-Fi work. It's going to be stronger. A lot of the Onu Box products have this now. On the back, you've got vents, and that is that. And what we're going to do next is go ahead and set this up right after we take a look at what else is in the box. Very standard stuff. It's packed fine. You're going to open this up. So inside, it comes with the HDMI cable, which is also a great bonus. It has a power adapter and the Onubox branded remote. This is a really great remote with a lot of buttons that do what you need it to do. You'll notice it has video playback buttons. It's got you know, your standard number buttons, as well as a lot of things that have to do with Kodi. Page up, page down, volume in, in apps. And these buttons here actually react to important functions. And also there is a very substantial book. The book is going to give you pretty much everything you need to know. There's you know, a controller breakdown, everything you need to know about how to set this up and how to use it. If it doesn't get what you need in the book, you can always go to their forums and so on. But that is that. It's very, very substantial. Take a look. So that is what you get in the box. And we're going to set this up on the TV and show you how it performs. So now we have the Mach 10 hooked up to the television. Right now it's not on, but I just wanted to show you a couple of things. We are using the network port. And I did leave this out of the unboxing earlier. It has an SD card slot on the side. That's a full size SD card slot. But we're going to go ahead and get this turned on, and I want you to take note of something. This device has a clock on it. She says, Arnu. That's a curious message, huh? What could it all mean? Oh yeah, this is an Arnu box. All right, so the thing about this clock, I'm taking a look at it, look, it sets itself. It says 311, it goes up to 11. And that is really excellent because it just gets it started and we've got the starting screen here. And for the rest of this unboxing video, we're going to record directly on the screen. So it'll look a little clearer and be a little less bouncy. See you on the other side. Okay, so what you've got here is the Onubox First Time Setup Wizard, as it says at the top of the page. What this is is something that helps you get things rolling, especially if you're not already comfortable with this kind of process. Now, unlike a lot of boxes, this doesn't go into an Android setup because it's not Android. 
it's a pure Linux and you're going to start understanding what the difference is very soon. We're going to go ahead and move on to the next step and here's where you're going to set up your network. Now as I always recommend I've gone ahead and I think I showed you and I have this plugged into its network port. I think that's the fastest way to access anything from the internet. But you can always sign into your wireless network from here. You just find your network and you sign in. From here you can look for an update. We shouldn't need an update because we've got the latest one. Nope. But if there was an update to be had, you could just do it from right here. No getting on the internet, no SD cards, just over the air updates. Now this is a great feature. This is a chance to put in a backup. If you have another Ornubox device and you've set up a, you know, a custom setup, you can load it with an SD card and you can just pull it right in and you're good to go. If you don't have one, it's no big deal. I'm going to show you a way to set up real quick. From here you can look at your screen calibration. It's set at 1280 by 720, but you can change it around if you like. And from here you can select your skin, and there's a couple of different skins that they have. You see, you've got the Honor Box Confluence and this one, the Ember Mod. And what, what they've done is they allow for the shortcuts and things like that that you can put in place there to be put into other skins. And it's very nice. Um, I usually go with the Honor Box skin in general just because I, I like it. It's really simple, and you'll see what I mean. It's based on the old Apple looking skins that XBMC did quartz. Confluence of course is your classic and Ember Mod is something a little newer. I'm just going to select this and move on. Now scanning is cool. This is the scraping. Uh, Kodi is very well known for its ability to scrape and organize files and if you have anything on your hard drive or your so you've got a NAS, you know, just dedicated for media. This is going to find it and pull your files on. This does it for local videos, you know, movies, TV shows, things like that, and music, which is the thing that comes up next. See, it's going for local music. And so basically, you can set up a whole entertainment center with your own stuff just from here. You just you know go and manage music and add music, and it'll ask you where. See. You just got to know the names of your stuff. Next. Cloud words are something that really separate this from the pack as far as I'm concerned. A lot of people have various wizards installed, but what cloud word is, is it's a, a word. It's like a one word command that sets up all kinds of things depending on what you're asking for. The one that I like is called USA, and what that is is all the stuff that you can get in the US region which you know like legal stuff news funny stuff things like YouTube so USA and that's all you do USA and, and uh, if you need to there's a whole list of the cloud words in the manual so now it's downloading it like boom and I gotta tell you I don't really have all that fast an internet connection I think it's uh uh, 17 megs per second, something like that. I mean, it's nothing, nothing special. You know, nothing like these 50 megs, 100. So the fact that this is just out of the box and the, you know, and how it works with the, with four active cores and, again, the lack of Android bloatware that you're not going to deal with because it is pure Linux. And for Cody fans, pure Linux, you know could be the way to go. We were extracting the files. I mean, done, done, boom, bang. Okay, so I'm going to avoid restarting it right now. I'm, I'm going to see if it just puts the things in there. It says it may be required to take for some effects to change. So we're just going to say no, okay? And okay.
So I think we're about done. Yep, setup is complete. So, oh, and for, oh, looks like Funny or Die isn't working right now. It is on. Okay. All right. So we're gonna finish this out and jump into the main homepage. And like you, like I said before, you know, you might recognize this kind of. It looks a lot like Quartz. It's sort of based around that. But what they've done is they've created a real clean, real open setup so that you can uh, see your menus and it looks like they've worked pretty hard on developing the right kind of color schemes to help you understand what's going on. I'm going to show you the programs menu. It starts off pretty basic. You've got your backup set up. Here's where you can access Cloud Words. And our new box system settings is a really great place to take a look at. From here you can look at just about anything you need to. You can get back to that first run wizard if you you know if you if you're giving this to somebody new and you maybe just want to show them around a little bit you can get to the recovery menu without using any kind of a toothpick which I like you can easily factory reset it again without using a toothpick without doing anything hinky you just boop, tell it to reset and it just starts over and you don't lose everything it just goes back to what you see right now you know what you see at the beginning your setup wizard and stuff like that it doesn't delete Cody and ruin the whole box or anything um, you know, you can get to the SD card, and you know, here's where you get to your backups that I was talking about. So, that's helpful. Also, if you are somebody that has a lot of media already, you should recognize these tools. If you're if you're a Cody fan, these are all tools that help you either organize or download things in an organized way, access your files. It's a it's another just a home entertainment toolbox here that they just include already it's already they're already set up to go for you so that is the systems area so we're going to jump jump into videos and you see it sets up in default like as a list but you can change the look and I usually do to like an icons like this and you see all of these things now these were this was what was added I mean it starts off basically, I believe, with YouTube and the Honor Box guides. So, let's just show you how it works. We'll go to Programs. And how about this? As you see, I'm just sort of choosing the first thing on the list. <laughs> Done. Did you see how quick, quick that loaded? Half the Jews in Palestine are Sephardic. I mean, that's that's pretty good, guys. That's really pretty good. Um, so you see that I was able to pause without having to pull up an on-screen okay, menu. Great. That's because of the basic remote that I showed you. It's you know, it's got the all the great playback buttons. In fact, I'll start playing again, and we'll do a little fast forwarding. So it's double speed, quadruple speed. start playing again you can also skip forward using the the basic the, the new Cody features by pressing the directional buttons so let's bounce out of that and I'm going to show you another feature something that is helpful about this box is the remote and what you're seeing me do right now is use the directional buttons, or not the directional buttons, but the page up, page down buttons. You can use the directional buttons to go through the programming, but as you see, you move along much quicker with this. For instance, there's 281 different things on this list. So if we're just going through manually, you know, you go through it, but it takes a while. Now take a look at this. We're going to start at the bottom and use the page up button. Are you counting at home? That was about like six seconds, maybe five seconds for 281 selections. I mean, think of, you know, that's pretty helpful when you've got a whole bunch of stuff in your system. So the question is, you know, how does that work so fast? You know, where, where, where does the power come from? And I'm going to show you. If you go into system info, you see the deal with it. For one, you've got the four active cores. 
you know, this is running Kodi 15.2, but, you know, it's all in the hardware. It's all in the build. This system has a quad-core Cortex A9 processor, and this is a very, very powerful, powerful processor. You know, it's, it's octa-core, 450 GPU helps, but a lot of things have that sort of GPU. This, this is, there's not a lot with an A9 processor. It's got 16 gigabytes of flash. That helps also, but in general, you know, you're going to be able to do a lot with this system, and quickly. And that's why I like the things from these guys. There's a lot of good companies out there, but these 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 pure Linux boxes are, are a little different. So that is the Mach 10 pure Linux set top box. It's a very interesting product. I'm going to have links so that you can take a look at where to pick one up if you want one. I believe they're about a hundred dollars, maybe a hundred twenty something like that, and depending on what kind of specials are going on. So give it a look. Like I said, I'll link to it in the description of this video. If you liked this video, if you thought it was cool, helpful, anything, please subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends. And for more news on streaming and reviews on products, check us out at thestreamingadvisor.com. I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor. Stream on, my friends.